Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's continue our Muslim world conquest for Crusader Kings 2. So we've just decided to get married to a new genius. And we are slowly sieging through these provinces here. Again, all of these, these armies are spawned without a commander. So the nice thing about carpet sieging is you suffer zero attrition, but it's a little slower, I guess. Not terribly so, but... Same thing with these eight stacks and these five stacks. Like, they have no commanders, so no attrition. We could assault, but... In the grand scheme of things, I mean, how long does it really take? 4.6 every 12 days, that's, uh... Oh, lost a battle. Hey now, Asturias, what do you think you're doing? It's not very nice of you. My son has become decadent. I'm certain he will straighten up. Now, Asturias, you know I'm not going to stand for this. Part of the issue is that these are, these are actually single flanks. So he's got three flanks to my one. Which is why he's winning so easily. He's got a really good bonus in the melee phase. Um, if it weren't for us, for Asturias coming in, this carpet siege strategy would have worked out beautifully. But he's causing lots of problems. None of it, I still don't think any of it matters. Once these three sieges go, then we'll win. Artinu's in position. Getting the Byzantine sieges out of the way. These sieges have to be almost complete. Apparently my wife just got pregnant before we uh, married her. These are actually so significant that we'll just assault. Oh, we've already won. And this time I'll just create the duchy for him. This is obviously going to be under Alavid. Okay, that takes care of that. Um, his army is now available. We gotta get the Byzantine Emperor to surrender here. And Brittany. He's just causing all kinds of annoying problems for me. Why can't I select just one? Thank you. I mean, even with him winning these battles, we're still at positive 38%. So, who cares? And now he's not even in the war anymore. Somehow, what, your character died? King Alfonso the IV, the fourth. Now he's neutral to us. That's funny. Surprised he doesn't just disband his army outright. That's what the AI usually does. Alright, so we're technically losing this war now, because... reasons. Alright, the army's fully replenished though, so now we'll go fight them. All it's going to take is one good battle. And now he's decided to become hostile to us again. Come on, you make up your mind. You're just, you're really irritating. My leaderless army. Who needs leaders when you've got numbers?
Hmm. Alright, seventy percent here. Alright, I was trying to manage this. Yep, yeah, so this time the battle went way in our favor. And we captured a duke. 170 war prisoners. You know, God, it's just such a hassle to deal with these people. But money would be nice, so let's ransom whoever we can ransom. Can't even do like a a pagan festival to murder people. That's enough. Back up to 19% with him. Okay. Byzantine Empire? Come on, let's go. I actually meant to assault this one, not that one, but... Now we'll have our ticking war score with him, so we can pretty much just ignore it, or we can continue to assault stuff. The problem with continuing to assault stuff is that our army ends up in provinces that we can't freely release troops. So I think we just go ahead and retreat and then let the ticking war score do its job for a month or two. Let the levy replenish. And then also by doing that and disbanding the army, we're able to potentially declare new wars. Brittany at 100%. Here's the Umayyads put down. Let's just create that. We'll give this to the Umayyads. Emir to Brittany, including lower titles. Umayyad, Umayyad. Good, good. Okay. Um, retinue. Retinue. Regular, regular, regular. And this is regular. So we need to get quite a few men stood down before we can de declare more wars. I think it's worth the time though. Let's let's assault this province through. And then we'll march the army away so that we can release it and declare. So that's the only army now. We can pretty much do like a whole new set of war declarations, because I think that the vast majority of the levy is gonna be fully reinforced. Umayyads are a bit weak, 12,000. Alavids actually up to 24. They're not the weakest in the world anymore. Tahirid, then Umayyad. Alavids still the weakest. Right. Okay, fresh wars. So Umayyads are going to work on, I guess, Songhai. Nice little easy war for them. The Mahmudid, I do want to raise again. We still have our truce with Bulgaria. No, we don't. Good. We do an invasion? No. Damn. We'll do that. Umiads are going to work on that. Ah, yes, the retinue. Need to get the retinue very busy. Declare an invasion of Denmark? Awesome. I'm pretty much going to declare war on almost everything here. An invasion? Sure. 
Oh shoot, there goes all of our piety, so we're not going to have enough to actually, um... I think we'll spare that one, just because I want to declare it as an invasion. I think the retinue can very easily take care of all this. I think that's plenty for now. Alright, so... Umayyad's taking care of something. Isaid. We need to get them working. Let's have Isaid work down here. Just do some conquests. A subjugation to take the final three. Uh, doesn't feel necessary. We'll just do a conquest. Oh, we don't have enough piety to declare a conquest. <laughs> Fine, we'll have to do it as a de jure claim. That works. Okay, so Asaid's busy. Tahirid. Tahirid we're going to re-raise against Rosh... Whatever it's called. And up here, since we don't have the piety for an invasion of Turkestan, I guess we'll have you guys work on Kipchak. And that's all the armies. Okay, so. Umiyads, down here. Isaid. Like so. Let's get this army re-raised to go and assault more stuff. You guys are going to raise up here and go work on those two. Olavid. Like so. And the retinue get to work. I think the retinue definitely will get the most work done overall. And we just had a baby or something. Uh, we have tons of retinue cap available, and no one's on our island, so why don't we go ahead and continue to hire retinue? Again. If we get one more stack going, we could possibly use it for some more stuff. It's a lot of retinue. We'll keep a budget of like, I don't know, 300, 200 ducats, that's plenty. Okay, um, we'll borrow these boats so we can pick up that retinue and put it on the mainland, and let's continue to assault. Our income is going to just plummet for a little while. Might even go negative, but I don't think that morale is an issue. Even if we had zero morale, our arrows would blot out the sky. Or the sun? What is it saying? Our arrows will blot out the sky or the sun? Byzantine Emperor might try to take that territory back, but I don't think it's going to matter. Didn't we crush this guy's army also? Like, does he have an army? Maybe it'd be better off just to spread him out. 2,700 troops. Assaulting is a lot of micro. 
And we, we're kind of spread out right now. I'd really rather just assault with the retinue. Pay attention to the retinue. So the retinue can just get the most work done. Oops. Alright, it's the first time in a while that Mahmudid gets a little bit of land. Oh, and it's a, it's a one-year-old. And yet he has positive 74 opinion of us. Gonna let that retinue hang out for now. Once it reinforces, it'll be 35, 34,000 troops. So I think we'll actually split it in half and have one in each province. It's gonna get pretty big when it's, it's all grown up. So, hmm, I don't really want to worry about India. I say we just split the army up four ways. We'll finish assaulting this province, and then we'll split up. It's already at 54%, but... Our ingrate son has become decadent. You little bastard. It's considered tyrannical. But I don't have the ability to straighten him up. I think that what's happening is that the has already negotiated flag is on my character instead of on his, so Apparently you can only ask your, your dynasty members to, to straighten up every now and then. And it like... prevents you from doing it too often or something. We'll spread those guys out on his territory. How are we doing up here? You guys assaulting? You should be assaulting. Auto assault. Clearly that was not a large enough job for the Olivid army. Okay, alright, um... Hmm. Okay, so Umiyads are solid and unraised. As far as the actual army goes, they, um, Umiyads are about half reinforcement. Alavids are doing perfectly fine. The Sade actually is appearing to me as the weakest, but I don't know. Gotta keep the retinue assaulting. Somehow we're managing to stay afloat on income, just due to assaults, I guess. These are starting to grow into big, huge armies. King of Bulgaria needs to surrender. He hasn't yet. He's called the Byzantine Emperor in. These guys are doing their deal. 
We have two people who are decadent now. Who understands it? I don't know why I, I don't have the ability to straighten up my own son. Fine, just into the prison you go. Whatever. Ten tyranny, I don't care. It doesn't make sense to me why I can't straighten you up, so we'll just throw you in prison and be a tyrant. Sure. So tyrannical. Okay, all right, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one as we continue to end wars. Apparently, oh, that was this one down here. So this army, let's just march them off. Got to do that two more times to clean up the borders down in Abyssinia. So that's the Tahirid army, or sorry, Isaid army is now free. Umayyads are free. Mahmudid's still working. Alavid's free. So you just have two of the five that are still working. And then the retinue's doing a lot of work right now. This is me forgetting that I was just said I was gonna take a break. Dynasty is getting bigger. It's kind of annoying. You'll notice I'm not marrying off any of my sons anymore. We don't need any more Dynasty members, I think. Okay, alright. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.